This is the story of Little Red Riding Hood. We're all familiar with Little Red Riding Hood, but this is told on Prezi. So Little Red Riding Hood, sweet young girl, maybe a little bit too much energy, maybe a little bit too much willingness to talk to strangers and to wander around in the woods. Well, she comes in one day to her mom, and she's a little bit too excited. She's all like, Mom, Mom, can I go see Grandma? Can I go see Grandma? Huh, Mom, can I, can I, can I? She's probably had a little bit too much sugar on her Wheaties this morning, but she's a bit too excited, and her mother, who's been slaving away in the kitchen since, you know, before the sun even broke the horizon, is a little bit happy to hear she wants to go visit Grandma. So she's like, yes, little Red Riding Hood, you go visit Grandma, definitely. But please don't talk to strangers. I know you like to talk to strangers, but please don't. So little Red Red Hiding Hood goes skipping off to the forest, picking flowers along the way, before she enters the big, dark, deep woods. Home to the infamous Big Bad Wolf, who, of course, is well known for his big ears, and big eyes, and big mouth. Oh, I'm sorry, big teeth. And it was last known in conjunction with the disappearance of the three little pigs, or as he liked to call them, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. So Little Riding Hood, she encounters the wolf, and she goes all emo. She's like, whoa. You know, because she's really into the bad guys, and if you're looking for the bad guy type, well, the big bad wolf is the perfect representation of that. So they get to chatting, right? And, you know, Big Bad Wolf is trying to play it cool, not trying to be too intimidating, but trying to show his tough side. And Little Red Riding Hood is all trying to be nonchalant and, like, inside thinking, oh, my God, he might like me, he might, he might like me. Very, very excited, very, very, you know, gigglish, trying not to show it, trying to just stay cool. But the Big Bad Wolf learns that Little Red Riding Hood is going to Grandma's. And the Big Bad Wolf is really excited because he's thinking, Oh man, I can get a two for one. I can have dinner and lunch served up. Excellent. I just need to find a way to get to Grandma's house. And the wolf is wicked smart. So what does the wolf do? He pulls out his cell phone, he pulls up Google Maps, and he finds the easiest route to Grandma's house. He's like, bam, I'm going to be there like wickety split. Unfortunately, Little Riding Hood, not as smart. In fact, she's still using a map, right? She's still trying to figure out, well, if the sun is at this angle and she's got a compass out and she's trying to like, you know, do all sorts of things and she, she gets lost. She, you know, it takes her a good hour or so to kind of find where, where she's even going before she can actually go there. So sure enough, the big bad wolf gets to Grandma's house first, busts right into the door, he ravages grandma, totally destroys her, obliterates her, and then puts on her clothes because that's what wolves do. So he gets dressed just in time and in burst, Little Red Riding Hood. Grandma, Grandma, I'm so happy to see you. I'm so happy to see you. Oh my God, I had I had such a great time going through the woods. I mean, I got a little lost. She's rambling away and, little, and Gr the wolf is just like, Oh, honey, I'm not feeling well. Please come over to the bed. And so Little Red Riding Hood comes over and sees Grandma, and it's just like, Grandma, what big ears you have. Hey, Grandma, what big eyes you have. Grandma, what big teeth you have. And, of course, it's at that moment that the not-so-quick Little Red Riding Hood realizes, Oh, my God, Grandma, you're a wolf. So she's running and screaming and yelling, and she's all scared, and the wolf is chasing her around. She's got a little more energy than Grandma, so she's a little harder to catch. Meanwhile, out in the woods, the axeman, again, not somebody who's so bright, hears somebody yelling, Wolf! Wolf! And of course, he's all narcissistic and thinking they're talking about him. But clearly they not, they're not, and he finally figures out, Oh my god, Little Red Riding Hood is in trouble. So off he goes. We kind of know how the rest of the story ends. Little Red Riding Hood ends up with a wonderful winter coat. Hasn't quite learned not to talk to strangers yet. But the real moral of the story, of course, is to be green and use Google. Thank you very much.